Yeah. <clears throat> so today, I think I called this lecture The Art of Death, but I'm slightly amending the title to Playing Under the Stones, which is perhaps even cooler, if you know what it is. Um, there's a lot of different ways we can play Under the Stones. Have you guys heard that term before? Playing no. Under the Stones? No? I read it in some book. <laughs> read it in some book. There's some very, very simple ways we can play Under the Stones. Like, in fact, you guys know how to play Under the Stones already. Uh, although you don't necessarily know all the really cool Under the Stones shapes. Uh, white plays here, right? And this dies, right? But then black has to play again to kill. So black plays there. This is Under the Stones, right? Where you had a group already on the board that you were planning on giving up, but your intention was to play underneath it after it died. So like you already have this move in the back of your head after this dies, right? So this is a very simple common example, right? And in fact, it's so simple and so common that you know, all of you guys, I presume, this is not worth thinking about, right? If you see this shape, you know this is like one eye. Right, you have to imagine, if you guys imagine like black is surrounding white out here. Right, like white's dead, you just say white's dead. And the reason why is because you're planning to play under the stones and play there. Right? Easy? You guys are not on board? I mean, depends on the problem. <laughs> depends on the problem, okay. <clears throat> There's other examples, right? Like, you have bulky five, right? Mm -hmm. To kill bulky, if you had, let's say, you know, the five stones in here, and then white kills the bulky five, you play under the stones here, right? You play under the place where you previously had a stone is the, the, the Japanese. Okay, you guys understand that concept. Yeah. Okay, there's two incredibly uh, more badass shapes that you guys do not know, and I guarantee it because you're not Don level players. <laughs> <laughs> so this, is, this is like Don level magic day, okay, as far as under the stones. And the two shapes that kind of sensitize you to are this shape and this shape. You go, oh, I know those shapes. No, you don't know these shapes. That one I don't know. Yeah, because yeah, the, these shapes, especially when they occur at the edge of the board, uh, lead to some really crazy things. And I've set up two problems here, and I want to <coughs> show you how these shapes can form or, or, or be useful when we're thinking about under the stones. Uh, take a look at the black group over here. Is it alive or is it dead? It's alive. If it's sente. Is okay, it it's sente. How do, we, how do we make it live? Uh, is it, it a square? Oh, I see you. So you're doing it. You're doing it right. I might do it wrong first. Show me the shapes. I showed you the shapes. <laughs> sure, but you say, look, I'm going to cap the stone and make an eye, right? Seems obvious. But what's the problem? It's a false eye. It's a false eye. Oh. Is that a surprise? My glasses were crooked. Oh, your know. glasses were crooked. Okay, okay. <laughs> Where that dip So just capturing the stone doesn't work. So in, in this case, we need to do something very different. In this case, we need to plan to play under the stones. And so we make a square. We still die. But check out what happens. Good. We can actually capture back. And you now understand like, why that square shape is so cool. Like, that, it doesn't work how you think it works. Normally, we think of four stones in a box as being terrible, right? Don't do it. <laughs> but as a planned sacrifice, it's a really annoying shape for your opponent to capture because it leaves weaknesses behind. It leaves enough space for you to recapture on the inside. So using <laughs> lumps, lumps of stones to kill. <laughs> yes, we're going to use lumps of stones to kill things. We're going we're to give up a lump of stones to then you know, strike at the heart after that lump is removed. This is kind of the same thing. Uh, what's going on here in this situation? Oh, wait a second. I think we need one more move. <laughs> yeah, there, you go. there we go. Sorry. Yeah. Now, <laughs> what's going on in this situation? Same thing. Sure. Yeah, white, white's going to kill these four stones, right? We'll assume it's black's move. Is there anything we can do to save them? Yes. Okay. Because the same thing is over there. We approach. We approach. We Atari. But then white kills us, and we're sad because we died. But are we sad for long? No. Nope. No, because we're playing under the stones and playing there. And we're actually recapturing that entire white group. So this depends a whole lot on having that extra liberty there. Yes, the liberty count is very important in this case. Uh, we need to make sure when we're recapturing, our opponent has no extra liberties, right? This whole thing doesn't work if that stone is there. So liberties are really important. But often you'll find in these edge situations, liberties are pretty tight to begin with. You're already up against the edge, so liberties are in pretty short supply. So in these problems, I've got, uh, I think, six, yeah, six problems. They all have to do with 
one of these two shapes. There's one that's a variation that's a slight, but you guys can, that'll be a fun surprise when you get to it. Uh, I'm gonna let you loose on these six problems. These are challenging problems. These are like Don level problems, okay? But this is the key. I want you to look for these boxes and for the squiggle. And if you can make these shapes and force your opponent to capture them, giving you an opportunity to recapture them, some real Don level magic can happen. Okay. So are you excited? Yeah. yeah. All right, there we go. That's, that's finally <laughs> some enthusiasm. All right, let's go do it. Okay. So gather around. Just so how are these under the stones problem? They were pretty fun. Yeah? Yeah. I think they're kind of addictive. You start seeing stuff that's not there. <laughs> and then it is there. It's, like it's a lot of fun with another person to be like, if I do this, I do this. Yeah, of course, well, this, I, I, do think this. I think that's most things in life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyway, this problem, we actually already have one of our under the stone shapes that we went over already on the board for us. Isn't that nice of the problem maker? Okay. We're done. We're done, right? <laughs> cool, nice problem. Black is alive. <laughs> well, not exactly. We still have the problem, though, of that black isn't alive at the moment, and if black doesn't play to live, white will definitely kill. So how do we go from here? Fight. Okay. Well, the obvious thing... <laughs> How do we find two eyes? The obvious thing we tried ran into a shortage of liberties problem. Right, and it's the liberties on these yeah, so that six was stones. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then, right, so if white goes here... Then you want to do that, but you can't. Can't, can't. self Atari. No bueno. And what happens if you go this side? Next. Same problem. Yeah, yeah. But, luckily for us, there's a way to get more liberties. Capture stones, I mean. <laughs> yeah, eat these oh two. All right, let's say white pops out the eye or goes here. Which one? White goes down. If white yep. comes here? Yep. What do you do? Let's say take four stones, Joel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you give up those four. Take you make your eye here. Mm -hmm. White captures and goes, aha, look how cool I am. I've eaten your four stones. And you go, under the stones! <laughs> And you announce it very loudly to your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Under the Full stones! The it's, it's a go etiquette thing. That's right. It's kind of like Atari, actually. Yeah. <laughs> He's very embarrassed because all the bystanders that weren't watching hear that. <laughs> run over. The lights hey, go uh, on. Hey, if you're a Q player and you're making plays like this, and you're not, you should definitely announce it. Yeah. <laughs> just, in, just in chat. Yeah. Ooh, this is on level magic we're talking about. Is that right? a tie gem option that you can select? From the oh, yeah, from the drop down list? Stones? It might be. Nice. It might be. Transition. I'll have to check. If, if not, definitely type it out. Yeah. <laughs> Under the stones. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? That's fun. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if we didn't quite. What happens here? <clears throat> what if white pops out that eye? Black just moves one down. I think, <clears throat> yeah. This is Tari. Yeah, there's yeah, no. yeah, there's nothing. You just that's that's a live shape once you capture. So it. even if white kills the potential eye down on the yep, side, well, this is the other we, option. We can just let them do that and then yeah. deal with those four stones. Well, well, well if white plays here, we have to be careful. So what do we do in this case if white pops out uh, no. this eye? Do we play here? No, 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 no. we have to play here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we already have the extra liberty we need, and that's it. That was cool, right? Yeah. Very cool. Surprisingly useful. Now, if you can do this problem, you can probably do this problem. I think we started at the harder. Oh, you guys did start at the harder. <laughs> it was fun, though. I really enjoyed it. Well, good, good. Usually, yeah, the people who don't come to the whoops, Sorry. hey, little camera, buddy. Yeah. Uh, people don't come to the class that often. This is usually the end right <laughs> of the more primer style problems, even though these aren't easy or, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is more of your. Intro. Inside. Yeah, yeah. Introductory level. That's right. So this one. What do you think? Convert it into the previous. Part. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you know, again, if you can see that squiggle shape in the corner, and you can make it, it almost transcribes into the exact same thing. Now there is a little bit of a difference here, uh, because white doesn't have to play here now. Mm. So white has a few more options to read out. White can play here. White can play here. White can white can play here again. And so you do have to read out a few more options. What happens if white plays here? Yeah, uh, Atari and the two stones. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, yeah. white captures. And you get to say, 
Under the stones. Under the stones. Under the stones. <laughs> And they have an eye, and you have at least one eye over here, nothing White can do to That's because White shortcut. doesn't have the stone here. That's right. No liberty. Nice. All right, problem number three. What do you got? So you can first extend. Yeah, try to come out, sure. And Q players do this all the time in your games, right? Where they just play really stupid looking at <laughs> our moves. And you're like, look, I dumbass, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you just gave me, like, free points. <laughs> like, like, that was really dumb. <laughs> but, in this case... Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. Where? And I was like, hey, that's cool, I got liberties. 75% of liberties. The shade. <laughs> do you, though? White still thinks he's totally fine. White's like, look, you're being dumb. You're just, I, I got a free move here, you gave me a free stone there. Free stuff! You're being really dumb, Black. So dumb. <laughs> Never gonna see it coming. What does Black do? <sighs> yes, we make the <sighs> deadly shape. <laughs> At this point, White's getting a little scared. Yeah, that's super <laughs> annoying for White here, too. Because that's, that's like a move your opponent does not understand. What is this shit? We're just looking at the board going... At this, at this point, White just says, maybe he really should read this out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Depends on the patience level of your opponent. <laughs> your, your opponent's already looking at the board going, look, you already made two really stupid moves. Well, what are the chances that the third one is good? <laughs> Clearly, that's a dumb move, too. All right, so White's like, okay, I'll just go capture you. And then? Sorry. And White's like, yeah, that's, all right, you can have one stone. I'm just going to capture your four. I see what you did there. You got your one stone back. <laughs> that was cute. That was cute. Consolation points. White's like, aha, I have killed you. And then get ready. Oh. <laughs> Under, Under the stones! stones! <laughs> now in this case, it's not clean. This is a co. Oh no. But it's a co for, for a, you know, free, like black, you know, 10 to 12 points here. Like just clean. If you needed a co somewhere, if you had some good thread or something. You don't even need a co, this is points. This <laughs> <laughs> is points, this is, I mean, you're, it, whenever you're gonna start a flower viewing co like this, where you just kill a bunch of your opponent's stones for free, you should just do it. And if, and if your opponent wants to save these stones, that means you're gonna get multiple moves somewhere else on the board. This is a great co for black. And so at this point, your poor opponent's thinking like, whoa, uh, I have vastly underestimated you. <laughs> There's some darn little magic going on here. And they're just left like, how did that happen? Isn't that great? Wizardry is this. Oh, it's total wizardry. W wizardry. This one's kind of the same thing, too. I, kinda, I think yeah. this, board, this, this problem is also a way to just really confuse your opponent and then slaughter them. So what do you play? I get to do the Atari. Good. Yeah. White's like, what are you doing? There's nothing there. Look how connected I am. Well, that's a stupid move. Where you're not going anywhere. What? What is? No, no, this is all dead. You don't have any liberties. That's basically the same as the last one. With what? Yeah. <laughs> what? I, just, I already told you those three stones are dead. Why would you add a fourth one? See, look, your four stones are dead. Dead. The super dead. Get out of here. Here it comes. Under the stones. Under the stones. Under the stones. <laughs> and you kill them all. Yeah. Now in this case, this one there was the code. Yeah, White didn't play correctly. But again, we were assuming your opponent was a dumbass Q player. <laughs> <laughs> and so if we if we pretend you're actually playing against a How real player. Cues. <laughs> <How> <laughs> cues. You need to know the other variation. It starts the same way. With this Atari connect. I like that one. And at this point, if your opponent is good at go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If your opponent is good at go, actually, act, and actually it's kind of it's kind of cool. You, don't, you can play this in this order if you want to help trick them. Oh, That's right. Yeah. Because the best the best variation for white here <laughs> is to actually start this go. Right. Hmm. But if your opponent has no idea what's coming, and you do this, you're like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. It's a pretty fishy move, though. <laughs> I'd start. But yeah, they have to start this co. So it becomes a co for their group, for actually this entire corner. Well, 
white's just put it so if black now captures that stone now we're assuming that there's some other activity going yeah on yeah, yeah. i mean i mean it's a co fight it's a co yeah. it's a co but um, <laughs> it seems like a co that can give multiple times well every co is like that yeah yeah that's just a co that's a regular old co if white does play another code and take back? Mm -hmm. Is this a free code? Yeah, I, I suppose maybe maybe that's uh, a, a good local threat. I haven't quite counted the liberties on all this to make sure. Yeah, so maybe, maybe actually in this case there's even an incentive to play this code shape first, mm -hmm. just because it looks like black has a an extra code threat. With a local code threat. Yeah, that's a good point. Cool. So yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm convinced. You shouldn't play this first. I think you should take the Atari first. Neat. Okay, this one I think is probably the trickiest problem. Uh oh, either this one or the next one. This one's trickier. This one, this one's trickier. This this yeah, is an under. It, you have to you have to find the under the stone shape. However, it's it's not quite one of the two shapes I showed you. It's almost the two shapes I showed you. You lied to us. I didn't <laughs> lie. <laughs> I said, no, that's what you got crammed in the cor corner and distorted. Yes. <laughs> Well, just a little bit. <laughs> All right. So in, the, in this case, it looks like white has plenty of room to make two eyes. Yeah. But little does white know, we have a special Don level magic trick up our sleeve. <laughs> so what does black do? What do you guys discover? Yes, first move. Brilliant move. White doesn't want to die. So I play here. Good. Again, white doesn't want to die. So where does white play? Descends. Yeah, what happens if white connects? Nothing. White dies. White can't connect here. Black just goes here. This is only one eye in here. And if white takes, so look, I made a second eye. No, you didn't. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> not an eye. Back it up a moment. Back it up a moment. Okay, so before that, oh, so take, like a, take a white stone out. Yeah. So we'll go back to here. Mm -hmm. And um, is that the shape we're in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And whose turn is it? It's the move to beat. Uh, what? Whose whose turn is it? White. Wait. Atari. No, no, no. No. Oh, wait. Right. That's the wrong. Oh, here. Yeah, here. Yeah, just connect. Go out the middle. Mm. It's just one eye. And I thought maybe this was good. White if takes here, black just recaptures. Yeah. So it still ends up the same way. Yeah. All right, so connecting for white doesn't work. So we can't let black get around in this way. So what does white have to do? But now it gets fun. Yeah, look at that shape. That's like, that's clearly alive it's now, right? It's hiding the shape. It's hiding the shape. White can't Atari from this side. So all white has to do is just remove those stones off the board and white makes a live eye space, correct? Mm. <laughs> correct? So you would, yeah, so, so you would, <laughs> so it would see. You can see that way. And white's like, aha, look, I'm alive. Stop harassing me. Whoops. Get out of here. Stones out of here. Look at all my points, my juicy, juicy points. Under the stones. Under the stones! <laughs> yeah, there's an Atari here. Often in the corners, in these really tight corner spaces, if you can get your opponent to throw in at the 1 1 point or place a stone at the 1 1 point, <laughs> yes. there's gonna be a shape Good. problem somewhere. And uh, White's like, no, no, I've seen the Under the Stones lecture. All I have to do is make the box shape. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that doesn't work because White doesn't have a stone here yet. <laughs> So, still one eye. Not quite work. So I think that's a pretty cool problem. Yeah, that was neat. So you got to see the, this uh, this little triangle under the stones shape in the in the real corner. All right, last problem. You two people will be so sad. They're like, teach us more under the stones. This is addictive. I'll be like, go teach yourself. Teach go look for it in your own games. Actually, the, 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 the day you can find like one of these under the stone shapes in your own games, it'll just feel like a million dollars. You're just like, dude, 
the last 10 years of me investing my life into learning how to play Go is all worth it. We'll send you the replay. <laughs> yeah, so, so, that's right. Mail on the replay. We'll put you on the best of compilation video here. All right, this problem. This is a great Under the Stones problem. Because this looks almost like... It was this one? That's a nice looking move. It's a really nice looking move. Unfortunately for Black, White thinks he has no problems. And it's like, look, I can make two ice here. Not a problem. And then we went here? Is this it? No, no. No? No. No, it was this one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And White's like, look, I, ha I have ice space. There's no problem. And you're like, nah, you don't. Now we connect? Connect? I don't know. That's really good. And White's like, oh, wait, I can't make two eyes yet because I saw Atari. Oh, but wait, never mind. I can just put you in Atari and... You're a zero. And White's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? Four, the squiggle four, that's a live eye space, dude. You're doing... You're doing the drugs. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't know what your live go shapes are. Under the stones. Under the stones! Under the stones. Under the stones. <laughs> and you're Atari. And he's dead. Cool. That's cool, right? What a nice little problem. So, what I hope, or again, I'm, I'm quite serious that it'll take you a long time to find this <laughs> in your real games. But I do hope that each of you, you know, at some point in your life, hopefully sooner than later, you know, find one of these in your own games. Uh, and, and I think my favorite one, or at least the one that I think you're more, most likely to encounter first, I'm gonna bring the camera back here, is probably the one that looks Something like this one. Ah, uh, this isn't right. That's right. Uh, like this, right? Yes. Oh, uh, no, there's a black center here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's something like this. Or you have one of these stones on the edge of the board that looks dead, and your opponent accidentally shorts himself liberties, but it looks like it's totally fine. It just looks fine. Mm -hmm. And then again, if you can make one of those squiggle shapes, mm, so good. So. I'm gonna challenge you guys, see if you can find this type of situation where you can just make this stupid thing. And just make sure your opponent can't Atari you from this side. I do a lot of stupid stuff, sometimes it works. <laughs> That's the spirit. Just go into every game trying to make these shapes on the edge of the <laughs> What is my opponent doing? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of like really famous test UG, like the first time you use it in a game, you just have like a really good day. <laughs> um, like there's also the, 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 the turtle shell one. Do you guys know this one? Yeah. The turtle shell? There's, there's a couple of these tortoise shell shapes. Oh, tortoise shell. Like, I, this, is, this is a bad example because I don't have all the stones like in their proper position. But something like this where the only way to kill this thing is to play there. Mm -hmm. And no matter what your opponent responds, the next move is there. <laughs> I can't really. Well, I think I think it's called the tort. No, the tortoise shell is the two captured two. This has another Japanese, you know, florid, imaginative name. I think that's that's also like a, like a fun test you do the first time you find that one in a game. I think that's basically making the largest possible honk in their throat. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, just jam it all in one. That's, part of it. that's right. Maybe we'll do a whole class on that test you do. That one's kind of a fun one too. All right. So anyway. You guys feeling good? Yeah. All right. Well, thanks.